Today is day 9 of the Month Machine 2013. In today's video, we'll be looking at multi-effects. Multi-effects are essentially presets that contain multiple effects in one. You might think that the stock multi-effects would be under the effects section of the browser. That's what I think. You know, usually you think of effects being with all the effects. However, the multi-effects machine are actually saved in the group section. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the group section of the browser. And then you can see on the left, we have a bank for multi-effects. Because the multi-effects are their own group, if you want to affect something, say in group A, you need to make sure that that group goes on to a separate group. So in this case, it's going to be group B. So we're going to go ahead and choose a multi-effect preset and drag it onto group B. When you use a multi-effect preset, you'll notice that the group will not contain any sounds. Instead, it has effects loaded into one or more sound slots. These are really just send effects, and to learn more about them, click on the link below in the video description to watch our other tutorial on send effects. Before you can use a multi-effect preset, you have to send the audio from a sound to it. So we're going to go back to our first group, then we're going to go and select the kick drum that we are using. Then you're going to want to make sure that you are on the output section of the sound settings. On the particular sound that we want to affect, we're going to change the output from group to the sound slot from the multi-effect group labeled in. If you're using one of the stock multi-effect presets, it should be the first sound slot in that group. If you want more control over how the sound is affected, you could instead use the aux output. That will give you a level adjustment, and you can basically use that like a wet dry nub. So now if we play this kick drum, it will have that effect on it. Now let's take a look at how to create our own multi-effect presets. The first thing that you need to do is go ahead and select an empty group. So I've gotten rid of that first multi-effect preset and now group B has nothing in it. So I'm going to select group B. Then I want to make sure that I have sound slot 1 selected. Then I want to go to the module section. So first I'm going to select modules there on the controller. And you can see that this sound slot currently has no modules added to it. Then we're going to go ahead and press shift browse to go into the module section. We're going to go down and then we're going to select input. So we will load that. When you have the input selected, you want to make sure that you leave the source as internal so you can send audio to it. Now we're just going to go ahead and add some effects to modules two and four. So I can go ahead in the software here and just pick something like a filter and then maybe pick something like a beat delay. If you really want to create more complex effect chains, what you can do is go into the second sound slot. Then you're going to want to go and again, put an input. Then you can add something like say a flanger. And now what we're going to do is make sure that that sound that is going into the first sound slot, instead of exiting to the group, goes to the second sound slot. To make this a little bit easier, we're just going to go ahead and rename this to two. Then we're going to go to our first sound slot, go to the output section, and then change it from group to B2. So now that we have this multi-effect set up, we need to go back to the sound that we want to affect. So we're going to go back to group A. We're going to want to make sure that we have our sound selected. Then we're going to change the output from group to B input. Now when we press play, this kick drum will be sent into the first sound slot of group B. The audio will be processed by those effects, and then that's going to be output to group B sound slot 2, and then that sound will finally be output to the master. So now let's take a listen. Because the multi-effects are really just groups without any sounds, you can save them the same way that you would do a custom drum kit. To save a new multi-effects preset, simply go to the group that has the effect that you want to save, right click on the group, and then click save as. Just like saving any other group, you want to make sure that you give it a name that you'll remember that will also describe what kind of effect you're looking for. When you're happy with the name that you've come up with, simply click Save at the bottom. So that's an overview of multi-effects in Native Instruments Machine. Thanks for watching this machine tutorial. For more, check out thedjpodcast.com.